Good afternoon. It's Thursday, March 17th, 2011. I'm Eric Shiner with Right Now on CNSNews.com. Well, this is St. Patrick's Day, and we hope for the luck of the Irish as we prepare to harness our mind tools and we try to make some mental predictions. The Health and Human Services website says at least 237 of waiver recipients to be exempt from certain rules of Obamacare are organized labor groups. So some of these have made large contributions to President Barack Obama's campaign. Now, did political considerations play a role in determining which groups received waivers? Well, the answer is no, according to Steve Larson, director of the Center for Consumer Information and Insurance Oversight. So with this information, we can now predict that HHS is reaching out to private employers to let them know about the waiver opportunities. But earlier, we put out uh, the bulletins. A bulletin. I, you know, I'm an employer. Press, I'm an employer. Where, where would I have read that that bulletin? Well, what we found is that the, the 30 percent of the applicants that we um, processed were small businesses. They had 100 enrollees. And where did they level. find out about this? Uh, well, we didn't ask them how, but I guess the point is that they were. Oh, come on. You, you advertise and then you say you didn't ask how? I've never seen anyone come in that they didn't ask, well, how did you find out about this program? So how do you gauge the effectiveness of your advertising? Or another way of, how do you gauge the effectiveness of spending the taxpayers' money? Well, we're, we're always open to suggestions for getting the word No, out. no, I'm not asking. I'm asking, how do you do it? How do we do what? Look, Obamacare is an abysmal failure, and people are being hurt out there by rising health costs. And then there's a waiver program that seems to select winners and losers fairly arbitrarily. How do you defend? that process, and more importantly, how do you know you're effectively reaching out to all of those who could be entitled to the lottery of can I opt out or not? Oh, a failed prediction. To get more information on the House subcommittee hearing on Obamacare waivers, I predict that you should check out Fred Lucas's story. According to some lawmakers, the Transportation Security Administration uses profiling on boxes that are shipped from hostile countries to America. So one could predict that that same standard is applied to people, right? Yeah, it's my understanding we the, uh, the TSA profiles boxes, but they won't profile passengers. You know, they'll profile a box based on its shape, its country of origins, and and uh, when from you know where it was shipped from. Uh, we, we take no effort at all to determine if you're flying in from you know, middle America or a foreign country that's uh, hostile to us, your level of screening is the same. And to me, that defies logic. Is the TSA defying logic? Michael Chapman's story brings you coverage. Now, the House is to vote on funding for national public radio. Many Democrats complain that the bill was rushed to the floor today, but some others predict that that won't be a problem. Three, four, five, six, seven, seven pages here today that we've asked members to read and digest in three days. 72 pages. Now, I wasn't here in the last Congress when 1,000-page bills rolled through this body under the same closed process and the same closed length of time, but I can tell you this. My constituents sent me to read seven pages, and I've read them, and I'll be voting my conscience on the underlying bill. We'll bring you coverage of the debate and the vote on barring federal funds from NPR. Now, if you want to stay informed, there's no need to rely on the luck of the Irish. We predict that all you need to do is click around right now on CNSNews.com.